Good afternoon, everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here for this wonderful occasion. Uh, when great people come, things become great, no? So we are very, very happy that Monsignor made it here again. This time, to see us, the greatest thing is to be seeing us, and then also to be present for the inauguration of this building in this tunnel. And then also uh, for starting the conference, the International Conference on the Technology and the Design. Those are very, very important things in the life of this institution. So I would just wish to say thank you to God who has made everything possible and thank them. They are all very, very, very busy people, very busy. But I think that because the coming here is an important thing, they have left uh, everything over there in America and come to us here. So I think it's a very big blessing that they were able to make it and that they are with us here now. So I'm very happy that we are not only inaugurating the building, but also that, and most importantly, I would repeat, uh, we are doing a conference on technology and design. Uh, those who know the story of this institution know that we have been waiting for design in the university here. So when I was presented the program and I saw this on it, I thought that was a wonderful uh, happening, a great thing that is uh, happening for this university. Uh, one of the things why we thought at the very beginning that there would be design here is coming in timidly now with the start of this conference, was that everything in life, everything, everything is designed. That is why St. Thomas Aquinas calls God a designer. God designs everything. As I'm talking like this, he's an architect, uh, architect, he's an artist here who knows very well what he means. He will design these things I'm saying here now. So it means that those who are in the various schools in the university, those who are working outside, they need to know have the basic idea, even if they are not specializing in design, of what it means to design, because we go on doing many things in life, and they are really not coming uh, forth to the full level, because we are doing them like people who do not have the technical know-how, we don't have the principles. And so the greatness of the achievements we have are not really uh, getting up to the quality we expect to have or to be. So I'm very, very happy that for the first time something is formally being done. Eventually the university will know what to do about arranging for uh, courses, maybe uh, a joint uh, school of engineering, and that those who excel will be there. But all of us will have the occasion then to learn these things because when you are a business person, you design your business. When you are a farmer, you design your farming. When you are an engineer, you design just everything. So uh, I just wish to thank those who thought about this uh, conference uh, that for me is a landmark conference. Really. Maybe not for everybody who uh, is here, but for me it is a great thing that is happening. So I wish once again just to say thank you to the university and thank you to these uh, great people who are coming to uh, start to talk to us about uh, design. Design It's a very, very important thing. So I think in the vocabulary or uh, pack, packages of many people today, that word is come and is going to stay where well, the design is a very great thing that we are having. I'm very happy again, once again. Thanks to everybody for your presence. Thank you very much for your attention. Today we ask God's blessing on the center of seeking, learning, and teaching what is true. We ask that those entrusted with the education of young people and children in this institution 
may teach their students how to join the discoveries of human wisdom with the truth of the gospel, so that they will be able to keep the true faith and live up to it in their lives. We also ask the Lord that the students will find in their teachings the image of Christ, so that enriched with both human and divine learning, they will in turn be able and ready to enlighten and insist upon them. to the progress of the sciences and to learn. Make it become a center where students and teachers, imbued with words of truth, will search for the wisdom that guides Christian life and strive wholeheartedly to stand by Christ as their teacher who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. morning as you saw from his flesh. I also want to hear the relationship existing between Cameroon and, and, and the, the U.S. Because if not of that good relationship, I'm not sure they would have been here. But as I said, we came on behalf of the governor to inaugurate the structures. I want to use this opportunity once more to call on the students, on the people, those who are there, on the school administrators, on the teacher to make good use of the structures. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. I'm very grateful for the honor which you bestow on me today. How Blessings you, on you all. How do you feel after this building or this block has been named after you, that is Monsignor Mauricio? What sentiment? Very, very humbled, as I said in my speech. It really is a great honor. And I am humbled. And as I point out, the important thing is, and anything that I say is, it's we. It's not about me or I. It's about all of us. Because when we work together, we can achieve great things. History has taught us that. So, let's be about us. It's bringing knowledge that they are supposed to have. Everybody is supposed to have that because all of our life, all of it is designed. And therefore, we need to also know design. And once we know, especially now, in our own time, uh, technology has gone very far and we are applying lots of things, we can do very many things now. So when we apply technology to design, we will not believe what we are able to, to do. All of them will be the same. So we thought that it's an opportunity that they start this course here now and give chance to everybody to uh, develop that. Uh, those who are in the school of business, they follow design. In agriculture, it's follow design. In engineering, is design. Just everything is design. So uh, once they get the basic uh, principle, the, the things on which all these things turn, uh, then you will notice that uh, you have talents that are not, are not in the sport. So the idea is to open their minds. They are seeing young people. I think they can do wonderful things. I think one of the things that CIB stands for is to uh, acknowledge and appreciate those who are making impact in the community and telling the story of, of good models for Africa. Uh, it's true that we, we live in a, in a continent that people don't, people don't appreciate their friends and what they are doing, like Africans. And I think we want to change the, the narrative. 
we believe that that narrative has to change. And so we, we decided to honor a, a black American uh, who, who, is, who is making it big time, who has come back to trace his roots and discover that he's Cameroon, and who is ready to support the university in all kinds of ways to give CIB the greatest standard you have like any other university in the US. Now, these are the kind of things that is happening in the world. Not only here in CIB, but I think these are things that are happening in the world. And if we don't bring them on board and share that to the world, then, then we don't show good models. So, Monsignor Mauricio West is a vicar general and pro chancellor and a chancellor of the Diocese of Charlotte, one of the richest dioceses in the United States and the biggest diocese in the United States. And he is a great fellow, multi talented, as, as I told you. Uh, he believes in the African cause. He believes that Africans have to be their continent. And, uh, and, and this is what come, we, need, we need to hear now in Africa. We need to build a continent, to continent together. And so we, we have named that building so that our students should see what is expected of them. That they can, no matter their, their color, no matter their background, no matter their, 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 their circumstances, they can go to the highest level in life. Nothing can stop them. And, and, and this is an example of Monsignor Mauricio, where a black who is heading the Vicar General for 24 years in a, in a white country, a racist country, he has been there for 24 years as Chancellor and Vicar General. That is no small thing, which means that we can, we can do it. Our students can do it. They shouldn't be complaining. They, sh they should take the, the mantle on their hands and models like him, imitate him, and, and make this country great and make Cameroon great. This is the goal why we dedicated the building to him so that the world will see, the world should know that Africans have great people. It is, the, the, the media is too negative about Africa. The media is too, too negative. We need to start changing the narrative. Even though we have our own problems, then we need to start changing the nugget, narrative so that all of us in Cameroon should see that everybody loves this country. And all of us should sit down and fix the country. Nobody should come outside to come and help us fix the country. We together should come and fix the country. Monsignor Mauricio West gives us an example of someone living in America and coming to say, hey, we need to fix the continent. This is the, 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 the message that we want for all of our, 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 our stakeholders and the nation uh, uh, at large. Design and technology is a way, way forward. And he brought these two top designers to come and start seeing. If you look at Cameroon, we have, we have good good builders and all kinds of uh, engineers. Hey, we do not design. We don't use, as, as, as the most new said, we can, and Bishop, we can get to that level where, when we, this, when we they see our buildings, you will come from all over the world to come and admire it. This is where, we, this is what, does it mean that we cannot do it? We can do it. So this conference is to em, uh, empower our students and motivate them, working with other people, to see that the brains that Africans have, but like Cameroonians, Cameroonians are very intelligent very multi-talented. Those brains, we want to use those brains in designing and technology to come out with the best designs, best buildings that people will come from the rest of the world to come and watch. That is the beginning of that journey. It's the beginning of a journey and we hope that the beginning of a journey, a thousand steps will begin in a single step. And this one time.